Well, this movie's colorful. What is up, Netflix fans, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm talking about the brand new Netflix movie, as I do every single Friday and Saturday. Today's movie is Unicorn Store, directed by Brie Larson and starring Brie Larson, also starring a very jam-packed, talented cast. You have Samuel L. Jackson, Bradley Whitford, Joan Cusack, a lot of famous people in here, and a lot of people that I love watching. Just so you know, I didn't watch any trailers, saw no marketing for this film. I tried to go in as blind as possible. I'm trying to do that more now with these Netflix films because sometimes they can surprise you other times you're like what in the world am I watching and to be honest with you this year has fallen a tad bit flat in terms of Netflix films I haven't really hated too many but the majority of them that I have seen are just either fine or meh. I was hoping Unicorn Store could get past that mark, but we are going to talk about that today. I need you guys in the comments section down below. Let me know, are you excited for this movie? Do you even know what the heck Unicorn Store is about? Because I didn't. And if you have seen it, let me know if you like it or dislike it. Let's talk about Unicorn Store. So Unicorn Store, a woman named Kit receives a mysterious invitation that would fulfill her childhood dreams. And yeah, I didn't know what this movie was about going in. Five minutes in, I still didn't really know what it was about. It is a very quirky and slightly over-the-top film. There are good elements for sure overall. I think it's a film that did struggle with trying to find the right balance between quirky and serious because there are very serious themes and topics that it tackles. Sometimes it tries to be very subtle about them. Other times it's a very in-your-face kind of metaphor. I liked it when it was more subtle and there were very cute and emotional moments, especially towards the end. And I like Brie Larson's character for the most part. At times she was a little overly quirky for me, but this is the kind of movie that I like her starring in. From Room to Short Term 12, I've said this before, I'll say it again, she is a really good actress. Did I love her in Captain Marvel? No, I didn't, but I do feel like she is in her element in Unicorn Store, and that could be the fact that she was directing herself. This is her first ever movie that she tackled as a director, and you know what? From a directorial standpoint, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen for a first outing, and I know she's in the business. She's probably seen other directors at work, and she has worked under some great directors, but she handled all of her actors very well. I think the story flows, even though I don't love the narrative at times. There are some very odd and off-putting elements about this movie, and elements that don't necessarily tie in as well as they wanted to tie in. I think the message here is good. Don't give up on your dreams. If you are stuck in a rut, if you are stuck in everyday life and you just want to do something different or be yourself, be the person that you grew up wanting to be. Listen, I work a day job. I work in an office. At times, I feel the same way that she felt in this movie. I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of stuck in a rut. I want to go out there and live my dreams. My dreams are to be in the world of movies and it's something that I can't really tackle and accomplish at this stage in my life right now. Sure, I want to do that, but I can't. Those messages in this film, I really enjoy because I related to that kind of topic, to that kind of struggle that she was suffering for. Some of the other metaphors and the other topics that I think it tries to tackle, it does an okay job at. It just didn't quite reach those heights that I think it wanted to reach as a story and as a movie. The metaphors are slightly in your face and it didn't frustrate me as a viewer. I'm just like, I wish they could have went about that in a better way. Now, as for the cast, I think the cast is great. Samuel L. Jackson. I mean, when has Samuel L. Jackson ever disappointed in a movie. I don't think I can recall a case. Now, he starred in some really bad films, don't get me wrong, but he is always good no matter what, and I think he was my favorite part of this movie. He's very colorful and over the top. He is the guy that sends her the invitation to come to the Unicorn Store, and the entire time while you're watching this film, you're trying to figure out, is this legit? Is this something that she is imagining? And you do get answers by the end. I still don't know what exactly the ending meant. It is in its own way ambiguous. You guys will know it when you see it. This movie also tries its hand at humor. At times, the humor really worked. I related to her more. When she was with her parents, they're trying to figure her out. She's trying to figure them out. I really liked the family stuff. I liked the emotional elements of this movie. There are other times when the humor is just too much. Certain characters, and I keep using this word quirky, this whole movie is just odd and quirky and colorful, and usually I really enjoy that. This just feels a tad bit over convoluted, and it's a mixed bag. In terms of a Netflix film, I would say give it a try. It is not going to be for everyone. Trust me, look at this user score on IMDb. Wait a second. 
Didn't the movie just come out? So how have um, that many uh, people seen it and given it one star? Unless it still has to do with the controversy. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. See a movie before you rate it. Because I promise you the majority of these ratings are bogus. Listen, I didn't love this film. I don't think it's all that great. But you still have to see it before you judge it. There's my two cents. But in terms of a Netflix film, listen, it's not the worst Netflix film I've seen all year. I like the ideas, I like the concepts, and I like some of the characters. I appreciate the fact that it was trying to send a positive message. At times, it was just too much. The metaphors were in your face, and the characters were just too far over the top for me to say that I would highly recommend this movie, but I would still say watch it because it's not one of those movies that you're going to walk out of a theater going, wow, I can't believe I paid $12 to watch that. No, it's on Netflix. If you have a Netflix account, it is technically free, even though that's not true. And in its own oddball way, I think it's a sweet film, even though it tries to be so far on the nose in its own prophetic kind of way. Overall, I need you guys to get down in the comments section below and let me know how did you feel about this movie, and I am going to give Unicorn Store a 60%. Another okay film on Netflix. Netflix, gotta step up your game in terms of movies. Three months in, almost 20 movies in, and I still haven't found that movie that I love. Sure, I've really enjoyed a couple, but that's just it. A few. Series-wise, you're in pretty good shape. Speaking of that, Sabrina Season 2, that review is coming out either later today or tonight. And then another video coming out later today is my spoiler-filled review for Shazam, where I tackle the ending of that movie and the post credit scenes. I'm very excited to talk about that, and I'm going to try to see a movie in theaters today. It's a long day, it's a busy day, but at the end of the day, it is all worth it. You guys are the very best. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will be back here in a few hours.